Hi, today I'm going to show you a really good couple of tips. If you're using Hermes, my couriers online, it's possible to produce a map from your manifest. And there's an example, and you can zoom in and you can print it out too. And I'll show you how to do that. The other useful thing you can do is to drop the information into Excel and then you can move it around and print it yourself. So I do things like highlight which are purely collections, just to remind me and not have me rummaging in the back of the car for packages. The other thing that you get is you also see the telephone number. So if you've got any problems finding the place, you can ring the client and that will help you to deliver. So that's much quicker. And I'll show you how to put the data into Excel. Now, both things happen from within this one button, within Hermes at My Courier Online. You go to this button that says CSV. Now, up till now, I'd been doing this the hard way. What I've been doing is pulling up my manifest, highlighting a postcode, using Control C to copy, and then going to the map and pasting that in there, using search and then it finds it on the map for me. I would then add it to the map and I would edit that and put in the street, etc. And then I would save it so I would have a marker on my map. Obviously that's rather long winded, but you can get the whole thing imported in a one -er. So let's get rid of this existing one by deleting it and I'll show you what to do. So we'll leave that to delete that layer so that I now have no markers on my map. Right, back to Hermes Couriers and click this CSV and it will export a comma separated values file. It's just simply a data file that can be understood by Google Maps and Excel. And here's one I prepared earlier. I've made a dummy because obviously we want to keep this information confidential. So we will go to Google Maps, which you can find by searching in Google for Google Maps, and there it is. And the first time you go in, you'll probably be asked up here to sign in. So it will normally look like this. And it will say sign in. And if you don't have an account, then you can create one here. I'm going to use an account that I already have, so I'll put that away. And you would basically go in and create a new map. And it already has an untitled layer. Now this is, a, if you like, a transparent layer that you can put pins in. And what we're going to do is to import data and as you can see, it says import data from a CSV file that we've just exported this over here. So we click import and you can select the file and look for it in your filing system or you can simply drag it in there. So let's drag it in. I've saved it on my desktop and I just click and drag. It uploads it. Now, there are two questions that it asks you. Here's the first one. Select the columns from your file that tells us where to put the place marks. Okay, and the only information that it needs from you is the postcode. So you simply select the top one. Okay, forget the rest. So when it says choose columns to position your place marks, just tick the postcode and go continue. Then you get asked the second question. This is a column to title your markers. Okay. Now, these are the titles you will see next to the pins. And the obvious thing to choose is the street name. So read down there till you find the street name. And in my case, it's this one here, which is obviously a dummy address. And that's you finished. Click Finish, and it will load that CSV. And this is, what, 40 different addresses that's loading for me. And it's instantly made the map. 
Now, even if we zoom in on that, let's zoom in, you're not going to see the actual address. There's one more step to do. You go to this blue bar here, which is to customize the appearance of the layer, click on uniform style, and in the lower box, we're going to set the labels to be that street address. And you'll see, if you watch these pins now, they will all have the addresses added to them. So there we go. It's put in the street name next to these pins now. And so there's the address, the name and number. And you can zoom around. And there you can see that you can nice work out a nice route to get through those places efficiently. And if you've got any problems, maybe just rewind the video and you can have a look at that. Let's look at putting this into Excel now. Now that we've worked out our map and you can, I'll leave you to work out how to print that. You, so let's look at using Excel now. And I'll bring up a blank Excel sheet. And basically you can do the same thing. You just click on the manifest, this being a dummy, drop it in. And it will look like that first time around. And you want to position your cursor on the, the alphabetic boxes at the top to click and drag to squeeze up the columns that don't have much data in them, open out the columns that do, and just click and drag between these letters so that you can see the names. And then obviously the addresses once opening up a wee bit. And then this is really useful because we now can see the telephone numbers and that saves you having to look in the handheld terminal for them. So that's a really useful feature to find that. Now, these bits here that tell us more information, where things are from, like Amazon or Next, fair enough, you might want to have that. You might find that it doesn't print uh, on your width of paper, so you may want to print it out uh, horizontally, um, the landscape. And then the actual code at the end, I haven't found any real use for that. To, so to be honest, I simply just delete these last two columns. And then that usually allows me to squish things up. If you like, you can go in here and reduce your font size. And then that'll let you squish your columns down a wee bit more. The other thing that I like to do is quickly scan through and see if I've got any collections. And then I'll highlight those in red and in bold and maybe even flag it with the uh, color being yellow or whatever. So I'd quickly scan through and I've only got one. Oh, there's a, I've just seen another one. Two collections I've got today. So that helps me realize that I don't have to rummage in the car looking for a parcel. And that again is done from that same CSV file, which we got, remember, from here in amongst your My Manifests once you've logged on to My Couriers Online. So that CSV is a really useful feature. Um, now, I may be able to look at that in Notepad maybe, and that'll let you see what a CSV file is actually about. I don't suppose you're interested in that technical information, but it's a comma separated value is CSV. So all it's doing is putting in your postcode, and then a comma, and then the, the D for delivery, and then a comma, and then what it is, and then the name, and then a comma. And both Excel and Google Maps can pick these up. So you can load that in as one thing, and you can actually look at that as well. So you can see a list of all your addresses down there, and just double check that you've picked them all up. But I find that so useful to print off and take with me. And then it keeps me right on the road. And of course, then I would also print off my manifest to take with me. And as I go through them, I can score them out and say, OK, that one's been done. So I can see how fast I'm getting along. Now, obviously, I'm doing that in the car with a felt pen. But if you want to put it on your... Um, Android tablet, if you've got Excel on there, no doubt you could do it electronically too. You could also put the map on there too, I expect.
Right, I hope that's been useful. I've taken a bit longer than I intended to. Good luck out there on the road.